This problem walkthrough video will demonstrate how to determine the profit for an electronics company given per unit revenue, variable costs, along with total fixed costs. Here's the data for our problem. Cox Electric makes electric components and has estimated the following for a new design of one of its products. Fixed costs are $9,600. The material cost per unit is 11 cents. The labor cost per unit is 5 cents. And the revenue per unit is 66 cents. The data has been collected in a Microsoft Excel file. Download the spreadsheet and complete the following requirements. Requirement A asks us to choose the correct influence diagram that illustrates how to calculate profit. Requirement B asks us to choose the correct mathematical formula for calculating profit, where Q is the production volume, R is revenue per unit, FC is fixed production cost, MC is material cost per unit, LC is labor cost per unit, and PQ is a total profit for producing and selling Q units. Requirement C directs us to implement our model from Part B in Excel using the principles of good spreadsheet design and find the profit if Cox Electric makes 12,600 units of the new product. Let's open up our downloaded Excel data file and complete the requirements. Here in cells B5, B7, B9, and B11, we have the total per unit revenue and variable cost as well as fixed cost parameters as provided in our data. For requirement A, I'll select cells E15 through H15 and shade them green to create a space to place our correct influence diagram. From the options presented in the data, the correct influence diagram is option one. Here, profit is influenced by total revenues and total costs. Total revenues are influenced by the production volume, which is multiplied by the revenue per unit. Total costs are influenced by fixed costs and total variable costs. Total variable costs are influenced by the material cost per unit and the labor cost per unit, along with the production volume. Requirement B asks us to determine the correct mathematical formula for profit, which is based on the influence diagram. From the options presented, the correct formula is option one. Given all of the input variables, total profit PQ is equal to the per unit revenue R multiplied by the production volume, Q, less fixed costs, FC, less material cost per unit, MC, times the production quantity, less the per unit labor cost, LC, also multiplied by the production volume. There are also other acceptable ways to present the formula. Now on to requirement C, where we want to determine the profit based on the given parameters. I'll set up my workspace for the model by typing descriptions for production volume in cell A16, total revenue in cell A18, material cost, labor cost, fixed cost, and total cost in cells A20 through A23, and profit in cell A25. Next, I'll shade the revenue and cost calculation cells B18 and B20 through B23 blue, and I'll also shade the profit answer cell B25 green. We're asked to determine the profit based on a production volume of 12,600 units, so I'll enter that value in cell B16 and format it as a number with a comma and no decimal places. To determine our profit, we want to start with the total revenue, which is equal to the production volume, times the revenue per unit. So click on cell B18 to type the equal sign. Select or type the production volume cell B16 and type the multiplication sign. Then select or type the revenue per unit cell B5 and press return. My total revenue is $8,316. Next, I'll calculate the material cost which is based on the production volume times the material cost per unit. So click on cell B20, type the equal sign, select the production volume cell B16, followed by the multiplication sign, and then select the material cost per unit in cell B9. Press enter or return, and I end up with a total material cost of 1,386. Next is the labor cost. Click on cell B21, type the equal sign, select production volume in cell B16, followed by the multiplication sign, and then select the labor cost per unit in cell B11. Press enter or return, and I end up with labor costs of $630. Next are the fixed costs. Click on cell B22 and type the equal sign, and then type if to bring up that function. We're going to apply some logic here to include fixed costs only if production is greater than zero. Select the function or press the tab key. Select production volume in cell B16, then type the greater than sign, followed by zero. Then type a comma, and select the fixed cost in cell B7, followed by another comma, then enter zero. This instructs Excel 
to check if the production volume is greater than zero, and if it is, Excel will use the fixed costs as provided. If production is not greater than zero, then fixed costs will be zero. Press enter or return, and since our production volume is greater than zero, the fixed costs of $9,600 appears. Next, we want a subtotal for our production costs, so click on cell B23, then select the sum symbol in the editing group in the ribbon, or type the equal sign, followed by the word sum, and then an opening parenthesis. The auto sum button will automatically select the material, labor, and fixed cost cells B20 through B22, which are the ones we want. Press enter or return, and my total costs are $11,616. Finally, for the profit, that's just the total revenue less the total cost. So click on cell B25, type the equal sign, then select the total revenue in cell B18, followed by the minus sign, then click on the total cost in cell B23, and press enter or return, and my parameters result in a loss of $3,300. And that's it. Now we have a working model to calculate profits or losses given information on revenues, costs, and production volumes.